Good morning guys. We're out here on the flats today. Beautiful day on the water. We've had a great trip so far. We've probably paddled four or five miles to get to this area where we're at. I'm going to take some time, talk about the kayak that I'm in today. We have beautiful conditions, really high tide, light winds. And when you have conditions like this, the ability to explore cover a lot of miles some days the wind will limit what you're doing but we're gonna take a few minutes to spend some time talking about the tarpon 140 we're gonna help give you some advice if you're starting out in kayaking just some general ideas about what to expect and we want to help you make a decision if you're in the market for purchasing a kayak there's a lot of advice out there there's a lot of opinions we always welcome that but this is just a great place to help you guys get started and then we're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna show you guys what this boat actually can do today. I've been doing this a long time. I've been paddling and guiding people on many adventures for 21 years. I'm still a bit of an old school paddler. There's tons of products on the market. The evolution of kayak fishing has changed so much for the time that I have been doing this. If you're out there exploring, if you want to go more miles, if you want to see what's around the next corner, you want to have the ability to get back and not totally wear yourself out. So the Tarpon 140 is a very streamlined, low profile kayak. And with all the evolution, with all the options out there on the market, I still love these and the way they perform every day. There's a lot of motors, pedals, and such out there. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't enjoy those. I mean, it is an option, but for me, I prefer old school style paddling. I like the things that make it efficient and the Tarpon 140 has just been it for me for many years. The addition of the rudder. Even though the 140 is a very maneuverable boat, the addition of the rudder helps you turn, it helps you deal with the windy issues. What the rudder does more than anything is it eliminates corrective strokes. When you sit up tall in the seat, you're really digging into the wind, you're looking at the horizon out there, you have a long goal that you're aiming for, it lets you put all your energy into it, just right, left, right, left, and then slight adjustments on the pedals will steer your boat. So it takes a lot of the, it takes all of the correction strokes out of that, and it lets it, you put your energy into going forward. So a lot of the boats that are out there on the market, they've created high back seats. I mean, it's like a lazy boy on a kayak and the kayaks become very wide and they become very heavy and they're not the most efficient paddling machines. And you will see a lot of those boats on the water, but you will see them close to the launch. The horizon is just really not a goal, but if comfort is your goal, it is out there. We do like to explore. We like to cover a lot of area. And on days like today where you have beautiful conditions, why would you want to limit yourself to fishing around the crowds and around the launch and around boat traffic. You find your own path, the sky's the limit with an efficient paddling boat. So all those things considered, there's a lot of variety out there on the market. I just wanted to take a minute and tell you guys about what I choose and why I choose. And even though through all of the years, through all the evolution, the tarpons were the boat that put kayak fishing on the scene. It originally was a sea kayak that was adapted for fishing. The Tarpon 160, the 16 footer, was the first boat that came onto the scene. There was an ocean kayak, a scupper was out there at that time. There was a perception illusion that was out there at that time. Those boats have kind of faded away, but the Tarpons have truly stood the test of time. Still here, still evolving, but basically the same setup that it was 20 years ago. And I've watched, you know, numerous companies come onto the scene and design things that they think you need for your fishing needs, but I really like the simplicity. I've said for many years, the beauty of kayak fishing is its simplicity. Couple of poles, small package of rods and reels, some drinks and snacks, beautiful paddle, lightweight carbon paddle, and the sky's the limit. And so we're gonna take off here in just a minute. We're gonna show you some examples of how it paddles. 
and just how it performs out here on the water. The streamlined low profile of this kayak lets you just slice into the wind and slice into the water. Very little resistance. There's also something to be said for efficient paddling. When you're in your kayak, you want to sit up nice and tall in the seat. You want to have really good posture and almost lean forward, but not really a dramatic lean forward. You want to have your pegs adjusted where you're secure in the seat. So if the bottom of your body is planted in the kayak, whenever you put that paddle in the water, that energy is transferred to the water. You want to reach up there by your foot with this blade and you want to push forward with the other hand where that blade is ready to drop into the water. So everything is done in a circular motion in front of your body. And if you're going to be out here, you know, you're planning an adventure for seven or 10 miles in one day, which is not out of the realm of possibilities on a day like this. You want to be able to uh, come in fresh. You don't want to fall on the ground when your day is over. Good posture, sitting up nice and straight, reach up there by your foot and do nice, long, smooth strokes. If you're chopping at the water or if you're leaning back, you're just giving away energy. Some of the terms that you're gonna hear about when discussing kayak performance are tracking, stability, and the ability to paddle over those distances are greatly affected by the design of the bottom of the boat. The Tarpon 140 has a really nice keel in it and it does have a tendency to go straight. It wants to go straight. The addition of the rudder will allow you to maneuver much better while paddling efficiently. The rudder is operated with your foot pegs up here. It's on a little slide system. So the rudder allows for hand-free operation. It allows you to put all your energy into the paddle and then slight adjustments with your feet will turn the boat from what from right to left but the tracking of the boat is very important so when you have a kayak that tracks very well that means it's going to have a keel it's going to have a little bit of angles to the side which will take out the stability it's going to be a little more tippy so the trick to that is you have you keep a low center of gravity on a boat like this if you have a high seat that you raise in the high position, you're gonna lose a lot of that, um, that low center of gravity feeling. So whenever you're in a boat like this, you're low to the water and you're paddling nice and efficient, it's gonna have a very smooth track. It's gonna to wanna to go forward. If you wanna change directions or if you're battling the wind, the rudder comes into play. It's gonna be extremely handy in those situations. And that's just a few things I wanted to share with y'all today about the performance of the tarpon. If you're in the market, if you have questions, you know, feel free to ask us questions, drop a comment on us, and a great big shout out to all the tarpon owners out there. You can follow me on the tarpon owners page. We're on there daily following up. We have new members, new owners coming in every day. It's always a pleasure to share those things. Love to hear the stories, love to see the pictures with everybody out there. And we're really looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. But for today, we're going to take off and we're going to see if we can catch some fish.